listening to several beats. You know, moving on to a more serious subject, at least for, you know, boxing fanatics. You know, let's talk about Floyd Mayweather's next opponent. You know, right now he hasn't decided on one. At least I believe he hasn't decided on one. And he's even had his Twitter followers actually, you know, cast a vote to see who would be his next opponent. So who do you guys want to see him fight? Well, uh, uh, go ahead, Brandon. Gentlemen first. That would be you. That would certainly be you. That would certainly be you, because I'm an uncouth barbarian savage. I mean, the guy, you said on the a, a more serious note, I don't know if I could be serious, but I think uh, if Floyd Mayweather wanted to pick another opponent, maybe he should go after Peyton Manning after all that money that he had made him waste. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said he did not bet that. He said he did not bet all of that money on the Broncos. So he said that was uh, not true. I hear, him, I hear him talking. I ain't listening. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I think on the serious note, I think who, I think you know who I want to see him fight. That I don't think that'll ever happen. I still want to see him fight Pacquiao. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, man, uh, I still want to see the Pacquiao fight. Has it, it? Does it mean the same thing that it would have meant four years ago? No. Okay. Um, but I, I still want to see it happen because it's just one of those things that feels like it's supposed to happen. Um, but of the two guys who were actually quote unquote up for the vote, uh, between Amir Khan and Marcos Rene Maidana, to be quite honest, people, people are really like down on Amir Khan. But what you have to remember with boxing is this, is style makes fight. Okay. So while you might look at the fact that Amir Khan has been knocked out, uh, you know, he has a questionable chin and that sort of thing. And you might be looking at the fact that, well, Madonna just beat Broner. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Style makes fight. And stylistically, Amir Khan is a far more difficult opponent for Floyd Mayweather than Madonna. Madonna is slow. He's a powerful puncher for sure. But he's slow. He's plodding. And by the... By the middle of the second round, Floyd will have him so figured out that the rest of the fight is going to be a shutout. It's going to be a shutout. He's not going to knock him out. He's going to, but by, by the end of the fight, uh, both of Madonna's eyes are going to be swollen. His lips are going to be bleeding, and he is going to be emotionally beat by the eighth round. I, with Amir Khan, it's different because Amir Khan is one of the few fighters in the world who Floyd will not have an extraordinary speed advantage over. Amir Khan has some of the mm. fastest hands in boxing, period. Now, his biggest Achilles heel, or his Achilles heel, is his chin. The thing about that is that Floyd is not a huge puncher. Mm -hmm. So, because of that, then it creates an interesting fight. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm not trying to sit here and say that uh, Amir Khan would beat Floyd, and he certainly doesn't deserve to be a favorite. Floyd is, should be the favorite, but it's not as open and closed or as boring of a fight as as some people might think. Um, what happens with Floyd is Floyd is such a huge star. Floyd is one of the few fighters in the world who brings in the casual fan. You know, if you don't watch any fight of like one or two fights a year, if you're a casual fan, nine times out of ten, that fight that you watch is a Mayweather fight. So you get a lot of people that are weighing in on Mayweather's opponents who don't really know boxing that well. Mm -hmm. You know, and... If you understand boxing and the and the 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 the, 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 whole, the old adage that is so true that, that style makes fight, you'll see that Amir Khan is a better fight. You know, um, unfortunately with boxing we have a cold the whole Cold War situation. Uh, top rank doesn't work with Golden Boy, and uh -huh. Top Rank and Golden Boy promotions they have all up pretty much ninety five to ninety seven percent of the fighters of any worth in the sport right now. So we have a lot of great fights that we will probably never see take place because of that Cold War. That's the reason why we haven't seen Mayweather Pacquiao. Because Mayweather used to be with top rank. Uh -huh. He and Bob Arum had a very nasty split. Bob Arum is intent on not giving Mayweather what he wants. And Mayweather's intent on not giving Arum what he wants. And uh, I think Pacquiao just kind of caught in the middle because he's given Bob Arum... Far too much control over his career. 
Um, but I think that's what happened. Now, there, there is a misconception out there that Floyd has run from Pacquiao. That he's that, scared. That he's, that, you know, I don't, I, I can't talk about him being scared, but I, I, the, there's a misconception that he has run from Pacquiao. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Back, what is this now, five years ago? Yeah. Floyd had, uh, had briefly retired. He came back for the sole purpose to fight Manny, pa- Manny Pacquiao. That was a purpose. He wanted to fight. He chased the fight. They, there were several agreements that ended up falling apart. Some of them fell apart because Pacquiao didn't want to consent to the Olympic-style drug testing. They, they, it once fell apart because they couldn't agree on the venue. Then they agreed on the, agreed on the venue, and then the Bob Arum factor reared its head. So there's been several things. So at this point, what we're seeing right now is that Floyd is like, you know what? I don't need you anymore. I wanted to fight you because if something got under my skin that was like they were saying you were the pound for pound best fighter in the world, and that's a title that I had carried for so long, and it irked me that they were saying that you were now. But now, there was without a doubt, I'm the man. I've never lost. You've lost twice. I mean, you've lost. I'm sorry. You've lost your last. You, he had lost his last two fights before he oh, just yes. beat Brandon Rapp, Brandon Reels. So, you know, he, at this point now, Pacquiao needs Mayweather. Mm-hmm. You know, Mayweather doesn't need Pacquiao. So, I mean, I, I would rather see him fight Khan than to fight Madonna. But ultimately, yeah, I want to see him fight Pacquiao. And you know what? If the people that ultimately lose out are the fans, you know, like you guys have both said, this is a fight that we've been wanting to see for the last three to four years. And, you know, it's funny, nar- narratives kind of get created as as time goes on. And you're talking about how people think he's, Floyd Mayweather has been, been running away or, or at least ducking the, this fight with Pacquiao. I really wanted to see it. I'm just afraid that it's going to be like, you know, it's that girl that you've always wanted to date. But once he finally got a chance, uh, she wasn't that special after all. That, that realized that she was fight. like, you found you yeah. went out on a date and she was musty or something. Yeah, <clears> they, <throat> yeah, basically. <laughs> She's a little yeah. I've been waiting yeah. on this, and you smell like onions. <laughs> exactly, because because it's been because the time has moved on because there's been a three to four year gap between when we wanted to see it. It, it feels like if it does happen, there's no way it could ever live up to what we wanted it to be, and that's and I. And I'm glad you brought up the whole promoter thing and how, you know, how there's sort of like a uh, there's there's things that you hurdles that you have to go through just to be able to get a fight to happen. You know, I would love to see uh, Mayweather go up against a couple of guys, you know, like I would I would even love to see him go up against the guy that he had beaten. But that that beat uh, Pacquiao himself. I'd love to see him go up against Marquez. I don't know if it would be the same thing, the same deal that he had the first time he went up against him. the tape. Same fight. Same. You think it will be the same exact a, fight all over again? Without a question, man. Style makes fight. Style makes fight. Marquez Pacquiao is a is a competitive bout because their styles complement each other. Uh, gotcha. Marquez has no chance. Floyd Mayweather would beat Juan Manuel Marquez ten times out of ten it, because it's the style. It's the style. Mayweather's arms are too long. He's too fast. And he's he's not going to ever and Marquez doesn't have the foot speed to close the distance. He's going to continue to run into the jab and the straight right hand lead all night, and there's nothing he can do about it because physically he's overmatched. Okay, okay, I, I can see exactly what you're saying now. But as far as people are have been talking about Mayweather's legacy, do you do you think do you agree with the people that said this is probably going to be a stain on his legacy that he never got to? that we never got to see the fight against Pacquiao? Because I don't really think so, because anybody that knows Boston or at least follows it enough will know that there are reasons why it didn't really happen. You know, do you think there'll be that stain there? I think that, I think the court of public opinion will always uh, fault Mayweather more. Mm-hmm. Whether or not it's wrong or right, I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to, because when you're the guy on top that's mm-hmm. being chased, when something doesn't happen, people blame you for it not happening. So I think that that is going to be the case, even though it's not necessarily true. I did a whole, like, whole long article on this entire saga and how it began and, you know, all the way up to where we were at that time. And there's a lot of things that 
a lot of people don't realize that took place. Mm-hmm. And um, I do think that at some point, barring something catastrophic in one of their careers, is that we're going to see that fight at some point. Now, whether or not we're we're going to enjoy it or love it when we see it, because Floyd, I believe, has four more fights left. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. He said four. He, he wants to fight four more times. Um, and, it, you know, though he might not have shared what his absolute plans are, I think that it would be the icing on the cake for him in his mind to walk away from the sport undefeated and having that last fight be against Pacquiao. I, I think that that would be for him probably the, the ideal way to go out. Hey, I got a question. Would you would you put this uh, this supposed or purported fight on the same level of as us waiting all these years for a detox album? <laughs> you know what? I've actually heard that. I've heard that analogy before. I've really? Heard, yeah. I've heard I've, somebody once said we're going to see Pacquiao Mayweather the same month detox finally comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's 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 gotten to be to that point. And uh, I guess it, it is very a very um, a very you know uh, accurate comparison because no matter how good detox is, it'll never live up to the hype because it's been so long. I mean, he could do detox. It could have Rakim, Jay Z, Eminem, Drake, Kendrick Lamar. It could have uh, songs from all of those guys, and no, and and a lot of the songs or all of them could be dope. But it'll never be what you know what everybody wants it or expects for it to be and it's the same thing with the thing you know the, the weird thing about Mayweather Pacquiao is there is no way for that fight to be exciting it's and that's what people don't understand about the actual style making fight because it's like this if Mayweather wins it's going to be quite boring because it's going to be Mayweather dominating Pacquiao Pacquiao frustrated because he can't get to him uh if Pacquiao were to win the fight it's going to pro is in more than likely it's, it's almost possible almost 100 percent is going to be a knockout it's going to be a knockout you know uh and i don't know how it's not going to be thrilling you know I, I can't see it being thrilling i can see it being something that you know he caught mayweather really good with a really big shot and when he caught him with a really big shot then now you know mayweather's in trouble and he ultimately ends up finishing him now one thing is that people underestimate about floyd is that floyd has a pretty good chin um, he, Floyd has been clipped really good a few times in his career, and he's never been. Not only has he never lost and never been knocked out, he's never been knocked down. So um, it's a testament to his defense, his toughness, his 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 in ring intelligence. It's a lot of that. So seeing Mayweather and Pacquiao in the ring, the excitement is going to be just seeing them in the ring together, not the actual fight itself. I don't see it being an exciting bout. Uh, I pick Mayweather to win if it, if it ever does happen, and I think it's going to be a pretty easy win. So you, uh, I agree with you that when you said that Pacquiao at this point for his career needs Mayweather more than Mayweather needs him. But he needs histor- it financially too, especially that, especially that. But historically speaking, does does Mayweather really really need this fight with Pacquiao? Is you know when you when you're talking about the best pound for pound fighters, they've almost always had another guy that pushed them to the limit that people are, you know, synonymous with them, you know, you know, Duran, you know, all those guys, they had a fight that we could remember and they had a fighter that, that was that guy, their rival. Does he need this in order to be able to step up into, or to be, to be ranked with those guys or is he already there? What do you think, Brian? I think, I think, unfortunately, in the eyes of most people, he probably does. But I don't know how true that is, because the the, the fact of the matter is with Floyd, Floyd has never really been, you know, he hasn't had that knockdown drag out bout. You know, mm-hmm. now a lot of people think that he lost the first fight to Jose Luis Castillo. Uh, some people feel that, you know, the, 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 the fight with uh, Oscar De La Hoya was, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. was was very close. And, you know, maybe De La Hoya got that one or whatever. Those are the only close calls he's ever had. So he has been truly dominant, truly dominant. And there's a price to pay for dominance because Mm -hmm. when you dominate, people start to then disrespect your level of competition. 
because and and it, it's 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 like you don't get a lot of respect in boxing until you've had the bouts that push you to the edge, and that's unfortunate because sometimes and in this situation I think it's the case is he really is this good, I mean because if you look at people talk about who Mayweather hasn't fought, but who but if you look at who he has fought, I mean it's really there's very few people that who have been like relevant or big time in in his you know in his era that he hasn't faced. I mean, you would Pacquiao is pretty much the, the only, only guy. guy you know yeah. that, of any real significance that he hasn't beat. I mean, he's beaten Miguel Cotto. I mean, he's beaten Ricky Hatton. He mm-hmm. beat Shane Mosley. He beat Juan Manuel Marquez. De La Hoya, he beat Zab Judy, he beat Arturo Gatti, who, who you know, rest in peace, was n- never a great fighter. But mm-hmm. he, he beat him as well. I, I mean, he sent, I, I, mean, he, I mean, Diego Corrales, who was a big-time, big-time power puncher, uh, who also has passed away, he beat him. He, he sent Gennaro Hernandez, who was a long-time uh, uh, world champion, into retirement. So, I mean, he's... To me, you know, Floyd's resume speaks for itself. 45 and 0, 26 knockouts. You know, I mean, come on. I mean, if you really look at it, man, Pacquiao, it, it, just from a from a point, just from a, 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 a simplistic standpoint, Pacquiao has losses on his career, on his on his on his record. And all of his and, and he doesn't have all of his losses haven't come the tip by the you know the the Timothy Bradley variety. I mean, Pacquiao's been knocked out twice. Mm-hmm. I mean, out like five losses, five I mean, losses, five yeah, losses. He's been knocked out three times. Mm-hmm. I mean, so to me, you can't look at that guy's resume and tell me that he his career has been on par with Floyd's. I just don't see how you can how somebody can honestly do that. So you know, it is what it is, though. You know, I mean. The court of public, you know, public's perception is just that. It's perception. It doesn't necessarily make it, you know, fact. 